Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ijoma. I'm a family medicine attending. And before we get started with today's video, I want to shout out the sponsors of this video, BNX. Today, um, they're sponsoring this video specifically with the Acumed Pulse Ox, which is a po very portable, lightweight pulse ox that can be used uh, for a variety of functions. It uses just your index finger to check your pulse as well as your oxygen saturation. It's amazing because um, it works quickly, it's lightweight, the batteries are included, um, and it fits all finger types for kids and adults. And um, we don't have kids, but I can imagine it being useful if you, um, if you had kids at home. And um, for me, I mostly, use it maybe after a home workout if i just want to see i don't i don't have like a um electronic watch or anything like that to like any type of smart watch so i can use it for things like that um of course if you have like older parents at home and you just want to have something handy anybody who has any kind of lung condition or just get sick you can have it handy to check your oxygen levels um it is manufactured in the united states specifically in Houston and it's super easy to use and I wanted to quickly demonstrate it for you guys. Um, so all you really do is, um, if you've ever used one of these before, a little clip clip, you put your finger inside and then you just press this button and you just give it a second. And um, formally it says that it takes eight to 10 seconds to read the oxygen levels um, and that's just so that it can get a good excuse me, a good um, tr a good understanding of what's going on before just spit something out. Um, so mine is done and it's, I don't even know if this is gonna focus, but it's uh, 98, 99, and my heart rate is 78. So yeah, I think uh, for a lot of younger people, maybe like, what am I ever gonna use this for? Especially if you're not in healthcare, but you never know, it is something that can come handy to have around the house, especially around the same place where you keep your other um, sick things. I will just caveat that it's definitely not intended for true and true medical use. Like I wouldn't use it to actually treat a patient. I wouldn't use it to diagnose a medical condition. I don't know if I would use it like in a clinical in a clinical scenario, but it is good more so for personal and at home use. So I would encourage you guys to check it out if you're looking for a brand of pulse ox to get. This one is a great one. It's very easy, easily functional, and um, I don't think you would have any issues with it. I can put the I'll have the link for it down in my description box, and I want to just shout out again and thank BNX for sponsoring this video. And let's get into the content. Good morning from Tampa, Florida. I am here hanging out with my one of my best friends got in last night and we went to this nice restaurant, Italian restaurant for dinner. Please don't mind my hair. I'm looking for my comb. I think I have it in my other bag, um, but I just wanted to quickly introduce at least the fact that I was here. And this weekend I'm out of town, um, having a little bit of like a girl's trip, but it's just two of us. <laughs> um, and um, it should be chill. We're gonna make breakfast and just, we don't have any plans for the day, but we're just gonna kind of go as the wind blows and I will take you guys along with me and um, I think that's about it. We're here. <laughs> the most gorgeous of them all. Look, okay. <laughs> mm, so 
sushi. It's time to give in to this sushi craving I've been having. We already ate our egg rolls, sorry. <laughs> but the sushi was so good. Mm. Mine is salmon and shrimp that's been cooked because I don't really like raw sushi. Today's Thursday. I just had the craziest morning. It is actually, it's 1245 and I'm just finishing seeing all my morning patients and my afternoon starts at one and my last patient was scheduled at 1040. Y'all, every single person came and I, if you follow me enough, you know kind of how my schedule goes. I do a lot of double bookings and, and stuff and we have a high no-show rate. Today is the first day that I've had every single patient show up. I saw 14 patients just in the morning between 7 a.m. and 10 40 there was 14 patients scheduled every patient like there was no quick visit maybe every visit was took like the full 20 minutes maybe 15 minutes there was nothing quick even the follow-ups they had like extra issues and things they wanted to address oh my goodness I feel like I finished running a marathon I'm like just getting ready to just scarf down my food because the one o'clock patient's literally already ready in the room next door. I feel very like, what the heck? Um, obviously, you don't have time to do anything like no in basketing or anything like that. Um, it's just been a crazy, crazy morning. Um, I'm glad I was able to help people out. Feel like I had good conversations. I still tried to like find small talk and stuff and not get too caught up with the fact that I was like two hours behind but yeah and the only reason why I'm just finishing now is because the the last patient so there's also a research study going on and the research team takes our patients away to talk to them sometimes and they can't find the patients so that happened a few times and that backed me up even further because they're like the next patient is not ready and um talking to the research people so even my last patient that I just finished with she because was lost talking to the research people I was about to like start my lunch um and then they were like we found her she was with the research people so I saw her um probably even like 20 minutes after I was I was I was already behind and then I saw her like even later which is why I'm just finishing with her but ooh, and I had to hold my bladder because I was trying to move on so I went to the bathroom anyways I'm gonna just I try to put my head back on eat my lunch and breathe and um at least again in the afternoon, everything's front loaded. So I think I only have like seven patients scheduled in the afternoon. So um, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be prayer, prayerfully, it won't be too bad. Uh. Oh my gosh, oh, it's four o'clock, which I know is like still relatively early for most people. But remember my day starts at seven. So it's been like a 10 hour day and it has been like nonstop from the time I got here until now, it's been like a nonstop day. So it feels like I have just been, oh, overrun. I feel like I just came out of a war zone. Every single patient today, like nobody was straightforward, nobody. I would say more than half of them like hadn't been seen in, um, definitely over a year most of them over like three to five years I this this day I earned my keep today okay like I didn't even address one thing in my in basket there's like 30 things in there now so um and then this one patient who just 
I had like I have one note that is pretty much done, but I just didn't even want to think about think about finishing it. I'm gonna when I I'm gonna just enjoy my drive home. It's a longer commute now. Enjoy my drive home. Probably gonna be more traffic because um, it's four o'clock, and um, I don't know. Uh, I may stop somewhere because like I feel like I need some ice cream or something. Like oh, I just I am just so pooped. So. Um, yeah, I'm just thanking God that I made it through this day, and um, I just, I gotta, oh Lord, let tomorrow be better. Well, tomorrow will be better because I only have to see patients in the morning, although I have 14 patients scheduled just for the morning, uh, and then I'm shadowing in procedure clinic for the afternoon, so I'm starting to learn, so I can learn the process for the procedure clinic before I start doing my own procedure clinic i'm going to do two shadowing days so one is tomorrow and one is sometime next week just next sometime next month i think um before i start doing my own procedure clinic so yeah um i uh yeah i earned my keep today and i don't need i don't need a i don't need another day like this for a while <laughs> i got my ice cream my well-deserved ice cream um and I'm waiting on the car in front of me to pull up so I can keep on moving and get home. Oh my gosh, you guys. I saw 20 patients today. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? You can see how like towards the end, it was like patients were getting here they had like 10 o'clock appointment. I wasn't getting done with them until like noon. Uh, and then this last patient that like got lost, I didn't basically finish until like noon is basically time for the next freaking appointment. Woo-wee, y'all. Stressful day. Only these last two didn't show and I was just praising God. I was just praising God. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. And um, the day is already off to a better start. <laughs> I can breathe. Um, I had stayed up yesterday after work, or I came back after work um, and finished going through my in basket. I had like 30 to 35 items in there, including like 25 results things. So, um, I went through all of that. So my basket was clear last night and I woke up this morning and there was like five things in there. So I just cleared that out. But um, I have just the morning today and then I'm shadowing in procedure clinic this afternoon. But I have 15 patients scheduled for the morning, um, which is typical for a full schedule because um, they usually would do 15 and then eight, right? Is that 22, 15 and eight, 22, 23, something like that. Um, so right now the seven o'clock is about to be a no-show and then the 720 has not come yet it's 720 now and um, the 740 patient is here so they're being roomed but i don't like i don't um press myself to uh see them early so i can just chill i think i'm gonna review the procedure clinic schedule see what we have going on so looks like we have um, knee injection, trigger finger injection, more knee injections, and ear lavage, which I'm not quite sure. Usually oh, in residency, we had nurses do that, um, but I guess we'll do it. I don't know. Um, I'm dying again. It's literally a repeat of yesterday. I'm going to show you the schedule and explain what happened. <laughs> So you see how the seven o'clock patient checked in at 722. So there was a backup at the off front desk and they checked in late and then the 720 patient came late. So then after I saw the 740 patient that had to go back to see them, by the time I finished seeing them, it was past, like I was late, I was already behind. So by the time I got to my eight o'clock patient, I was already behind. So it's currently 1015 and I just finished with this person. This person. So I have another nine o'clock. This is where we're at right now. And it's currently 10 15. And um, yeah, everybody wants to show up. These people are already here, but I probably won't see them until like, by the time I'm done with these people, it's probably gonna be like 11 by the time I'm seeing the 10 o'clock. 
so I'm like an hour behind. <sighs> I just gotta catch a break. You guys, I just cannot win these last two days. Like, I had this crazy busy morning. Didn't, didn't even have time to eat. I was basically done while like the first um, patient of procedure clinic was um, ready or had already like done, was about to start their procedure. So I came late for that. Our administration, they had some snacks and stuff in the office. So I um, I just grabbed a couple of little snack packs of stuff and that's, that's all I had and got through the procedure clinic. Ended up having the last patient cancel. So we got done early. It's actually 2.30 now and I'm leaving. Um, I was going to eat because I'm starving. I was going to eat and finish up some work before leaving because I still have some things in my in basket, not a lot, like less than 10 things. And I wanted to just clear it out before leaving since it's Friday, but, and I was going to eat while I did that. But, um, I got into the freaking, the cap, I mean, the, I was going ready to won't put my food in the microwave. And then I don't know what happened, but the plate just slipped out of my hand. So it just broke. My food just went everywhere. And I was just like, this is the last straw. Like, <laughs> I don't know what is against me these last couple of days, but I just need to go home and pray and like cover myself in the blood of Jesus because somebody is not think is somebody is not wishing well for me because I don't know what, what has been going on. Um, but it's Friday. I'm going to um, probably stop somewhere and get food because at this point I'm like, I deserve it. <laughs> I don't, even though I did it. I'm just like, you know, you just get those days. Where you're like, I'm like, I don't know. Like I may go like, I think I have this place in mind. I want to um, get food, but then I have st stuff on my shoes. So I don't really want people. Maybe I need to go to a drive through anyway. I'll figure that out. I'm going to get food and I'm going to start heading home and find something to eat on the way. Oh, I'll go to Panera. That'll be good. And I can do pick up. Yeah. I'm going to order Panera and do that. That's my plan, y'all. And um, I'm going to get home, finish what I need to do and get ready to enjoy the weekend. Okay. I am home and just finished. Everything's cleared out. So I am done, done, done. Ready to carry on with the rest of my day. Hello, happy Saturday. Um, yesterday was a very, very busy day um, and was able to relax a little bit. And um, after Chris got back, we eventually put together our uh, breakfast table, which is here. It's not dressed up or anything, but I really like it. The black and the chairs match the floor is really nice. Just need to get a nice rug to and some table uh, stuff, you know, to like make it you know, look a little bit, make it look a little bit more, you know, put together. So, but it's good for now. I'm about to start making breakfast. Um, and, oh, and then, um, so today we are doing a couple home projects. We're having people come and put all the cabinets, pulls and knobs in the, in the, um, all the cabinets in the house. And then we're going to have our sound bar mounted on for the TV in, in the living room and then we're going to have um we're gonna have some bedroom furniture delivered all this morning and then later today I'm going to the Houston rodeo with my sister which I'm really excited about uh but for now I'm going to start getting ready to make breakfast and get the day started we're going to be making waffles we got a waffle maker from one of our family members and it makes like heart-shaped waffles and I think they're gonna be really cute so I'm excited to make those just gonna kind of get started because the people coming to work on the cabinets and everything are going to be here in about uh, around nine so and it's 8 30 now so I'm gonna go ahead and whip that up and we're gonna have a great day okay we are done look how cute they are cute little waffles at first, these were some of the first ones I did and they were like too thin. I don't think I was putting enough. And then these ones are more fluffy. So I may not eat these, but these for sure. And then I'm just making myself some eggs. Um, Chris is in the shower, but I'll leave these for him. And I'll put it in the microwave when he comes out so the butter will melt. <laughs> This 
Everything is deep fried. Deep fried cookie dough, deep fried Oreo, donut, cheeseburger. Like, uh, what? I got a brisket baked potato. We had a great time and we are finally back in the parking lot. I cannot wait to get home, shower, and relax. <laughs> 